Gold's trading activity has been unusually calm this year, but is that about to change? Is a breakout potentially in the cards as the December Federal Reserve meeting approaches and as lawmakers battle over the tax reform package? Our guest today, Todd Bubba Horowitz of BubbaTrading.com, says brighter days might be in store for the metal. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, Todd. Great to be here, Danielle. Always a pleasure to be on with you. So can we expect to see volatility creep into the gold market? And if so, could a volatility surge have a positive effect on the precious metal? Uh, yes and yes, absolutely. If, if, if anything happens, you know, gold has been, as you stated, very calm throughout the year. Basically, we've had, we've had a couple of moves, but for the most part, it's been relatively stable. I think what you're going to see here is some volatility coming to the markets, and then it's going to push the gold up and through the 1300 level and, and, and probably challenge the 1340 level is what I'd be looking for. Hmm. But, you know, I've been to a few conferences now, and I think that, you know, gold might get a hard time here, Baba. Uh, the metal is on pace for its largest yearly gain since 2010. Gold prices are up more than 12% this year, yet many investors are so frustrated the metal can't seem to hold 1300. You know what? I think that that's always a great sign, especially when you want to be a buyer in this case, because what happens is as they start to get out, some people actually try to short it. And all of a sudden we get that breakout and we're off to the races. And I think one of the things you're going to see here is, A, the equity markets are due to take a little bit of a sell, some pressure, which could bring some new money into gold. You've got the Bitcoin now getting a little bit crazier. And of course, we saw a thousand point drop in about 20 minutes the other day. So as money comes out of there, that would be going into gold. And of course, many people use gold as the fear asset. And I think there's going to be a little bit of fear, especially when we've seen some of the things going on within the newsreel. So everything leads to a higher price in gold, especially because with this week's pressure, it held 1270 really well. OK, you mentioned Bitcoin. I know we spoke about this in the past, but, you know, another takeaway from the conference I was just at is that it really is, uh, you know, one of the driving factors and reasons that gold uh, can't seem to hold above 1300 here is that we're seeing so many players, um, you know, kind of abandon gold and go into Bitcoin here. Well, I, I think that's possible. And I think that's probably likely. I mean, I talk about that all the time. But I think that what we're going to find out is that people are going to start to split those assets. You've got a big chase for Bitcoin right now, as we've seen by the, the way that it's been trading. And of course, 100,000 new accounts opened up last week. But at the end of the day, People were going to come back to gold and we're going to see some movement there. And, and again, I think it's only positive. We go back and look to when gold was just 1,200. It's, it's made a very nice move. And I think that will continue. And I think the money will continue to flow here. And of course, people will be looking for new places to put new money, especially if the equities start to sell off a little bit, which I think is very much in the cards. So what's your year end target for gold here? Well, I mean, the year end target, it's always hard to say when we're in December because of the uh, holidays and everything else. But I would not be surprised if we were able to get above 1300 and sustain that level through the end of the year. Uh, but it wouldn't surprise if we stayed in this churning range either. Uh, but first quarter, I would expect to see a challenge of, of 1340 or higher uh, by the time that's all said and done. And I would expect to see a very solid year next year for gold, because, you know, I've said I believe the bear market and the metals is over. Well, there's also a lot of bullish talk around silver. I know you love silver. The calls I've been hearing are, you know, 28 $38 silver uh, by next year. Uh, what's your take here? Uh, I'd like to get I'd like to get 18 first. Right. I think I think that silver is going to be very good. It's it's a little bit weak. It's a little bit, been a little bit weaker than gold recently, and right now it's basically unsupported, about 16.30 or so. Uh, I do see uh, silver going, you know, into the, you know maybe close to 20, but it, it, I I need to get it through 18 before I can actually make a 20 call. But I do think it's going to be a very solid place to be. And I think there'll be a lot more money flowing into it. And, you know, again, I will expect to see silver flying higher as well. But again, for me, it's got to get through 18 and then I can look for the next level after that. Todd Baba Horowitz, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Danielle. Have a great day. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.